how the co-founding team comes together and what the different roles and responsibilities are is always something that's a focus of first-time founders. And Jessica, you have a very diverse uh, founding team. How did it come together and how do you define those roles and responsibilities? So when we got together four years ago, something we recognize individually is that uh, we're not good at everything. You know, I might be good at operations, but I'm certainly not inclined mechanically to be able to fabricate or 3D print anything. That's Anson's strength. And while he's great at that, you know, he might be, uh, he might struggle a bit with putting together a financial forecast. That's Matt's strength. And so because of that, there's this common thread where we, we know and recognize each person has their own unique strengths. And to really grow and thrive, you need to bring on board other perspectives, other people that are smarter than you in areas that complement you. Um, and that came from the top down. So when we have been building our team over the past four years, um, we're now 25 people. Um, our team is so diverse. Um, we have mechanical engineers. We have software developers. We have people with uh, backgrounds in uh, user interface and UX design, and everybody works in a very tight-knit, highly interactive environment um, because that's just the interdisciplinary nature of robotics. Everybody bringing their own perspective to the table sounds like a really good format and formula for success. You have successfully commercialized, and in the robotics industry, that's hard to do. Your first application is in the custodial services, retrofitting existing uh, equipment that companies have purchased. How does the application work? When we started out, we strategically chose the janitorial space um, because of the size of the market and there was an unmet need uh, for solutions in that area. And when we were interviewing customers and, and doing our customer discovery, what we were hearing from the industry leaders that we spoke to was the pain points are not so much in the machine and the equipment itself, but because they're having a hard time finding the labor to do this work. So that's what we focused on building, was creating that navigation system that could automate their existing assets to make them self-driving so that their staff can free up that time and instead of walking behind a machine, they can focus on tasks that could benefit more from the human touch and more creative thinking. And as you think about the roadmap for the product, mm -hmm. you've just started to look at what I like to call like the, sort of the last mile solutions, autonomous Jetson style last mile solutions. Yes. Where are you going to go first with that application? When we got started in the janitorial industry, there was a lot of um, things that we were recognizing that made it a really great place to get started. This work is done everywhere in every building that you can think of at night. And so we knew that was the great place to get our foot in the door so that we can start applying our navigation system into other areas. The next uh, product that we're working on now is uh, a people mover that essentially takes the place of a wheelchair to help passengers travel from gate to gate in airports, which is an area that's actually requiring more and more um, demand. And it's, uh, it's an area that needs some solutions. And so when you think about the roadmap for ANK Robotics, there's some big competitors in the robotics industry globally. How do you plan to scale? I think it's a very exciting year coming up for us, and uh, we are looking to scale globally. So the value that we bring is in our mobility and AI. And we knew that if we were gonna get this right, there was something we had to focus on, which is accuracy um, and reliability of our navigation system. The biggest challenge in indoor environments is that they're very complex, they're always changing, and people are moving around all the time. And so we focused on building out a technology kit that can work in those challenging environments. Um, and because of that focus, today we have the best performing system um, that can work accurately and reliably in airports, malls, uh, and schools where people live, work, and play.